啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Pelican Wharf, where I have it paused because、um, you can see since the last episode,、um, I have saved up the money to buy this building. We've also put a staff room, toilet, and a second GP office in it.、Um, but money, of course, as you can imagine, in this hospital is.、Um, Uh, difficult. It's not、uh, a big profit maker at the moment because, of course, we've only got a couple of small little rooms, and it's been running for so long now that we're getting so many、uh, other patients, mostly visual illnesses, because of all the machine upgrades and that. It, it does sort of focus on that、uh, quite a lot, so that there's a lot of machines around. We're getting less of these patients in, so making money is actually big. It's actually really difficult on this hospital, and I'm very keen. To、um, sort that out,、uh, to resolve that, we are relying very heavily on the research department constantly getting us money. But I did save up、um, some doubloons so that we could jump straight in to、um, trying to make this a more profitable hospital and moving forwards. And、uh, a good way of looking at this is seeing what illnesses we're getting, and I've sorted them. Uh, so that we've got the most expensive at the top, and we can see here that surgery.、Um, and of course, I am one of these sorts of people that enjoys building one room、um, that does multiple illnesses. So the surgery is fantastic. We see here we've, e we've even got、um, a DNA DNA one here kicking around. It's a shame that there's only one there,、um, but yeah, I'm keen. I like DNA because again, it's bang for your buck, right? So for minimal input, we're getting max output, and that's that's what we can see here. So surgery is the thing that we want to build AS. AP,、um, and we probably will also build、uh, premature mummification. We're getting a lot of those guys in, so this feels good. And it'll be another machine for us to upgrade as well,、um, and it makes good money. What I would say about surgeries, we can see here: gurning loins, heart throb, and pipe organs. They are all extremely difficult、um, illnesses to treat in the. Surgery in the operating theatre. So chances are, is that we're going to be killing a lot of people in surgery, but we'll still be getting their money. So that will just have to be the way that it is for a while. So we've got it on pause because this hospital does lose money. Like I say, we that money will disappear quickly if I don't do it on pause. So、uh, let's see here, surgery,、um, and. This is sort of our diagnostic wing, actually, over here. I, I want to start making this more diagnostic. So what we might actually do、um, is move some diagnostic things over into here. So let's move that over there、um, and move the nurse with it because actually we might put surgery in here because we seem to be building up the treatments over here. Um, this is、um, we're using this very much as a as a diagnostic thing, so we'll move this over here. I think lovely.、Um, that probably upset a few people that we've moved that,、uh, but there we are. It needed to be done.、Um, now, what I might also do is move research so that we've got a bit more room over here. Um, it's not the best layout that we've got ourselves over there, is it?、Um, but it won't be staying here. To be fair, it won't be staying here. So we'll pop them over there, like so. And what we'll probably do is put、uh, the surgery here for now. I think that'll do.、Uh, so back to what we were doing a moment ago: treatment,、uh, surgery,、uh, and stick that here. Excellent. Um, lovely. We'll put in a couple of these. Sink, but I want a couple of these. There we go. Lovely.、Um, this is too expensive right now for us to to pop in, but that would be fantastic. Knowing how much we're probably going to be killing patients, it would be it would be quite nice to have in there. But we'll have to do it、um, in in more subtle ways for now. So. These treatment cabinets help with treatment. So does this.、Uh, so does this wall monitor. So we'll just do it in more gentle ways for now.、Um, we will put in the hand sanitizer. Got to keep things fresh、um, and nice.、Uh, and just because I really like it, I'd like to try and get this in. 
It makes sense though, doesn't it, to put that in there? I feel like it does. Um, now, I'm gonna have a very unusual area yeah, for a surgery. Um, <laughs> very unusual area for a surgery. Uh, we'll pop that in um, and, uh, oh, do you know what? This could probably go there. Uh, and we'd like to get the chair in as well because they do use it in surgery. Um, in fact, two chairs. Oh, that could be a thing. We could try this. I don't normally do that, do I? Oh, oh, so they can sit down and have a, a cup of joe together. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's also make it nice and attractive in this area. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, we'll put this here just to give the patients coming in that are obviously going to die just a full sense of security there. Um, can we put maybe something here? Oh, I know. A cheat. Uh, just just to remind the doctors where everything is supposed to be there we go that'll do and it just gets it to a level four right now what we don't have here of course is um, any surgeons can you see so what we're going to have to do is actually close this um, and this is going to get tricky quite honestly uh, oh dear it is going to get tricky uh, I think though even though she's a littera, she has bedside manner uh, which means she'll increase patients' happiness when she talks to them. She also has emotional intelligence, so she's genuinely, uh, generally happier within herself. So she'll make a good assistant uh, in surgery because her skills don't affect the surgery. So giving her personal development skills so that she can, uh, the stamina, so she can work longer and stuff like that is the way to go. Um, as her treatment skills, whatever, wouldn't have any effect in surgery, unfortunately. So um there we go so we've got our nurse for surgery but we don't have a doctor a um, bit of a shame bit of a shame now uh what we could also do um is see about Ooh. okay we're going to move this up we'll move the radiator Okay, and we'd like to build, before all the money goes, um, the cryptology. So I'm going to uh, pop that there. Uh, yes, there it is. So we'll get this in as well. I've just realised, um, hang on, that I've got the sound off in the game. I do apologise for that. <laughs> I've got the sound off. I'll, I'll dub in some, some music until uh, I turn the game sound uh, back on. Uh, there we go. We'll do it after I've done this room. We'll pop that there and we're going to need a radiator, splendid, um, and actually the doctor will be working over here. What we'll do, because the controls for the machine are actually on this side, so we might put the radiator near to where they'll be working. There we go. Um, and then it just means that they can be a bit more comfortable so that if they sit down or more to point when they sit down they'll be all toasty warm look at that all toasty warm this too um, and we need hygiene and sweeties uh, so there's that and we'll put the hygiene over here uh, and again um, I think this is a doctor this room um, Oh, it's a nurse. Is it a nurse? Well, we do have a treatment nurse, I believe. Yeah, uh, treatment nurse currently working ah, in the injection room. Well, we'll also stick them on here. That's what we'll do. And I, I have done a little bit of sorting out in staff as well. Just sort of uh, tried to. We've got some, I mean, they're not the best. I mean, oh, well, they're all right. Grumpy. This one, short temper and toilet range, but uh, they were the best ones that we could find. So, I had a little bit of tidy up at the staff, but nothing too crazy, um, just to keep us going. Right, so let's put the sound back on in the game. I do apologise. Let me put that. There we go. <laughs> so, there we are. We're going to unpause it, and what it is now is that we just need to try and find a surgeon. We need to find a surgeon. Um, that's that's the thing that we need to do right now um, oh and look at this oh look at this she's inspiring positive the girl next door and she's a surgeon could that be more perfect right okay we got seriously lucky there so we will 
put her down for surgery no. uh, and open this up and we can start taking those on and I think that this will really help um, with the money situation in this hospital because Lord knows we need it um, because we're really fighting for money all the time in this hospital there is no doubt um, it is a thing uh, on our floor uh, you know we'll put all those in I'm going nuts um, and before we lose the money although we're probably going to lose it this rate's taking me to find the pin board uh, there we go. Notices, everybody. Something to read while you're waiting. Lovely jumps. Uh, uh, is there anybody here I can send away? Oh, not really. This queue got big suddenly. Uh, so I wouldn't mind finding an, a, a third GP. Because at the moment we have two GPs. Um, so one to cover breaks would be phenomenal. Uh, oh. This is going to be bad. We're going to we're going to get hardly anything out of this. <laughs> yes, uh, that's fine though. Uh, send for treatment. Thank you very much. Um, a ward. Hey, I'd love to build a ward. That's a really good one. Because again, it's one of those rooms that's cheap to build and stuff, but. That's right. this we'll deal with all sorts of things. It could also help with diagnosis as well as be a treatment radio. place, right? So, do you know what? We might have the ward be the next thing that we do. I'd like that. Sophie Nova. Uh, it's great to see her here. Really pleased about that. Really pleased about that. Um, okay, so... I do want to build the ward, but at the same time, I'm very keen to look at this so I'm thinking if we paid for one of our researchers to get the research to training uh, so who has um, stats let's have a look here training I was just wondering can we see here their training speed that's their movement speed I don't know. Okay. I don't know now. I don't know. Where is it? Surely it would be here somewhere. But I don't see it. I don't see it here. How quickly they would train up. Am I blind? Is it there and I'm just missing it? I don't know. Uh, oh, that research done. That's fantastic. Send them for treatment. So we'll take this opportunity to train one of these researchers um so we're interested in research two now 165 oh my goodness poppy you're in um and we'll pay for it that way so that's that's that money sort of spent isn't it really um go with that one there we go and then the other two can continue to research some more cold hard doubloons uh send for treatment uh let's have a look is there anybody here i can get rid of uh so your dna and we don't have that at the moment uh oh we do have premature modification now oh, dna no uh fine clears that queue out just a little bit uh we can't deal with you and it just means that if we can clear all this nonsense out it means that the people that we can treat can get to treatment faster which i don't know about you but that sounds pretty good to me um 65 do you know what we'll send you for treatment we'll get you out the door it'll be fine uh we can't treat you and we can't treat you uh so you might as well go okay this is how we keep a, a hospital that's struggling to make money uh, in the green, uh, you know, we, we have to really watch uh, the patients. Ah, uh, oh, I probably could have built the ward. In fact, let's do that. Look, the money's come in. Let's build the ward. So, let's see here. Yeah, let's build it over here. So, room then, ward. This ward will do both treatment and diagnosis, I think, for a bit. Is this big enough for us to put beds either side 
Oh, it is. Look at that. I'm loving it. We'll put a beautiful desk here. Um, let's pop these in. Beautiful. A couple more beds. We're going to try and use this to diagnose and treat uh, for the time being. Um, actually, I might have put them a bit. No, you know what? We won't put the pictures in for now. We'll just uh, get all this in. This will be fine. Uh, let's spin that one. Oh, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? So we're on to a winner here. Um, uh, yes, so we need the changing. The changing room. Should we try two in here? I wonder if that would speed things up. I think if you had a really big ward, having one at each end of the room would be good next to each other. I'm not so sure. I mean, it, it won't hurt. We can uh, certainly keep an eye on it. It's bound to help. Uh, okay, we'll do that. So we need some hygiene. That's a thing that's occurring. Um, and we would like to give them... Yes. Fantastic. Enjoying it. Um, then we want the wicker chair somewhere for them to sit down I know they've got the reception but they do still enjoy not sitting at reception it is a thing uh, we'll pop that there uh, some sweets eh? so if they get hungry um, excellent here right next to the radiator so those sweets come out there we go that, that's what we want it's probably quite cold that room we, we do have one radiator in there it does get a little bit chilly to the other end but it, it's it's actually not as bad as i thought so we'll go with that so we're going to need some nurses oh hello there is our third gp super smashing great wow got lucky there right um so we need you're a crazy ward nurse uh what's all that you like to argue right okay it'll be this person here it's going to be this person you can work in the war for now they've just got stamina which means they can work for longer they need less breaks and all the rest of it so that'll do us okay there we go and that can do both diagnosis and treatment Assistant for now we'll see how it how it gets on um yeah that's that's what we'll do we'll see how it get, gets on um Actually, that's all right. It's okay. I've got a ghost over there. Let's slow the speed down as well. Right. Okie dokie. Ooh, might need a new receptionist. Uh, okay, well, again, they've got good stamina. So we'll stick them down. Stick them down. There. Got a lot of ghosts kicking around. A lot of ghosts. Shall we train up a new one? Yes. You can do it. Good. Now let's have a look at their jobs. Um, there, that'll be good. I shall endeavour. Okay. Right, so hopefully these small additions should start look at that should start bolstering this although that could have included the research i'm not sure pest control no um something i'd like to do is upgrade the easy scan how much is that it's going to be twenty thousand. i'd really like to do that um after this ghost training i'm assuming now that we have one yeah so after the ghost training what we'll do is we'll get poppy here to train neville and sophie in research too that'd be great that would be pretty great what is this go home uh excellent <laughs> lovely ah i think it is starting to make just a little bit more money um, I like the idea of possibly adding the DNA lab next. Um, if we go to diagnosis. Yeah, the DNA lab treats and diagnoses. At the moment, we do only have one 
but it, it it earns quite well that treatment and then when they're not dealing with that this is interesting i know actually there's more dna illnesses coming into the hospital than is up here so it could be that we've just not managed to diagnose them yet but i've seen um leopard skin i've seen that pudding one uh yeah so we're definitely getting more i think i've even seen um touch of Midas as well so the dna lab i think would be really good oh, oh that's a bit closer isn't it that's ooh, ooh. <laughs> we're not getting uh, the surgery in yeah see look there's touch of Midas. see so maybe we'll start trying to get them through oh, i'm definitely not going to be sorting you out anytime soon or or you okay i've just been called into the ward fine fine the ghost training is almost done, um, which is splendid. And then I think after the research training, we'll look at getting these GPs tuned up a little bit more. Yeah, see, look, leopard skin. Maybe we'll just let it go through and see if we can get them diagnosed so that we can start using a DNA lab more often. There's actually quite a few DNA guys coming in, so it could be that when we do build a DNA lab, it would be treatment only, just because um, I think we might actually have quite a lot of... What are you doing over here? You might be on break, but that's a dumb place to be having it, so go in there. <laughs> okay. Excellent, so here we are. Um, now, you? Yes. We would like to train you in research too. Um, we're going to have Poppy do this. There we go. So we'll get that research uh, training going so that we're working on this one, finally. We now have 20 grand in the bank. So let's upgrade this machine here before we lose it again. There we go. And we've cured 100 patients. Woohoo! As we build more treatment rooms as well, this will go up. Uh, a lot. We're sending a lot of people home at the moment. Um, but as we expand the illnesses that we can treat, this will go up. Um, along with, of course, training our staff and whatnot. Will help as well. Um, look at that, see? I spent all the monies. <laughs> can we send anybody away? See, look, there's that pudding blood one. Oh, we've got the ward now, so I'm going to have to leave that. Although, what we might do is just try and clear it out. We just discovered Monobrow for the first time. We're going to send a bunch of these for treatment straight away. You can go. Um, excellent. That helped. Monobrow discovered. Fantastic shot clinic. You can go home. Uh, so what have we got over here? They're actually quite low in their diagnosis, right? Quite low. That's great. That is great. Okay. Alrighty. So how are we doing the machines? Because this is, um, we need to do the decryptor, but I think, yeah, that jab master's at three, the drug mixer's at three, and then we also had um, the easy scan, which is about to become three. So then we could concentrate on getting three upgrades, couldn't we, on on the decryptor. And as soon as this hospital starts making good money, um, then I can not worry about researching money and then we can look at making sure that we've got all the upgrades for the decryptor we need because do you know I, I can't remember I've got a feeling that I have um, the basic upgrade but possibly not the advanced so that'll be something to watch out for uh, definitely and that'll be 10,000 it's not too bad is it to upgrade the decryptor not too shabby it's pretty it's pretty simple look at them go look at them go Excellent. Oh, yeah. Who are you and what are you doing? Ah, do you know what we'll do? Let's have a look at these uniforms. Look at this. Because I like the idea of changing their uniforms. And we haven't unlocked yet the highly visible orange. The 500 kudosh. Because I have all this uh, kudosh from Superbug. Let's unlock them. So we'll unlock that and yeah, put them in the high vis orange. I like it. What have we got in assistance? We're missing the midnight in assistance. 
500 kudos. Lovely. Oh, except I am actually just going to keep... <laughs> I've already um, unlocked all the nurses because I actually enjoy my ward nurses to have the inverse. I like the inverse. And then the doctors, we've not unlocked the turquoise arm stripes for 500 kudos. So we'll do that. So we're finally... We finally, and we've given it to him, we finally opened up all the uniforms. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, that was a good use of, of kudosh. Um, right, you will send for treatment. Let's uh, move this queue along a little bit. We can't treat you. That's not going to happen, so you might as well go. Oh, look, there's a touch of Midas. It's going to be tricky, and the leopard one. Uh, it's going to be difficult to deal with them I think just at the moment the hostel's not very well equipped for it and we do seem to be losing money which is a bit unfortunate uh, and our research has stopped for the moment just because we're getting everybody what on earth do you think you're doing I'm trying to get everybody ready not nearly enough people are coming in to have their surgery look at this it's not very hygienic is it <laughs> these gloves are so that you are hygienic when you're working on people you just touch marshmallows Outrageous. It's, it's outrageous, David it, Fizz. It is. Um, how's it going over here? Okay. <laughs> I like the noises of the machines. They're just so great. They're just so great. DNA lab required. Oh, I know. We'll send them home. But. DNA Lab's 50,000. Maybe when we get the next research thing in, we might be able to plop a DNA thing down. That'd be great. Have we discovered any more of them? Yeah, look. Touch of Midas. Excellent. Yeah, so when I do build a DNA Lab, it'll probably be treatment only, because they are building up. Put you to the top. Uh, would you like to come out of the toilet? And then I think I might send you for treatment, even though you're the success rate is probably going to be fairly low. Uh, we're still going to do it. Uh, what is it that you have? Misery guts. You're misery guts. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, psychiatry is piling up a little bit. Uh, yeah, good old mix of patients in here, look. I'm going to see, we've lost all that money, because the DNA allows 50,000. It's a lot, it's a lot, isn't it? Um, shall we take a plunge? I know that we've got big, big old queues, but, or maybe we should just do one at a time. Maybe we should do one at a time, what do we think? So if I train them in GP2... Just do one at a time. That's better than nobody working there, right? Do you know what we're going to do so that we discover pudding blood? A skin condition caused by dessert escaping into the bloodstream. An anti-pudding gel must be injected into the patient. But then we will um, just send them home. Uh, but at least we've discovered it. That, that part of the job is done. Um, you know, it is done. You could go for treatment. That could be pretty good. Uh, excellent. They're all okay over here, really. And then we can swap it over and get the other GP in to get GP2 training. That that would seem pretty great to me. Um, I also quite like the idea of uh, possibly training up a new GP because I don't think it's going to be long before we'll need another GP office. So... You know, it's probably going to be a thing fairly soon. Oh, look, that money came in. Excellent. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pause this. We will start that research again. But what we'll also do, I'd like to get the DNA lab in. And I think we're going to pop that here. So treatment DNA lab. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, fine. We'll keep that there. We'll put the door... Okay, sure. It's It doesn't like anything. Uh, let's move the radiator to here. And put the door right there. Excellent. So. Uh, how close? 
There we are. That is the closest it is getting. We are going to need a fire extinguisher in there. Um, and a radiator. Oh, it just fits in there. Oh, we got away with it. Uh, right. So, usual stuff, right? So, uh, the doctor will be back here. Which is pretty great. There. Um, oh, look at this. This is the hologram. Um, this is a new item that came... We've now completed the very first global superbug project. And this hologram, uh, more impressive than useful, I mean, it's got diagnosis power, but we should check this out, right? Um, it goes in pretty much all rooms that can do diagnosis and also the research department. Um, I think we should check it out. Um, it just sort of glows when nobody's using it, but when they do use it, it's quite a lot of fun. So there, we'll do that. But what we're going to do is assign this to treatment only because I think we're going to start picking up on the treatment in this room. Again, we're getting a lot of the really difficult ones. Uh, Tasha Midas and all that, they, uh, they're quite complex, difficult. Um, oh, he would have been better. Short temper. No, he wouldn't. Um, although, maybe he would have been because maybe we could make this. Maybe we could train this doctor to be our DNA doctor as they are here. <gasps> yeah, let's do that. That's what we'll do. We'll make them the DNA doctor. So what we need to do, first of all, is close this. We'll wait for this training to be done and then we'll sort out the genetics training I think is what we'll do so that we can get our DNA lab up and running thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button as long as you are here why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via patreon the cooler you are the harder I work which means even more shizwa. 